Do you think God misses out in the time he had set for the things he wants to do for you? God is not a man that makes a promise and forgets what he has promised. Whatever he says, he is going to do for you. That is what he is going to do irrespective of what the situation and condition you have found yourself in. God has spoken it, that he is going to restore your lost fortunes. God has made the promise to you that every year you have lost in the course of being faithful and obedient to his will, nothing could fit those days that you have lost and wasted in your willful desires, while you have not yielded to the call of the Lord. Those things that the devourer has taken away from you, Joel 2, verse 23 through 26. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. If he said he is going to do it, then yours is to trust him, and give him all the attention that brings it to your reality. How will you know it is happening already? How will you know it is your time for total restoration? These will be a question that may have been replaying in your heart. How will it be? When will it be? And what are those things that will show you that it is happening and God is doing it already in your life? Four signs your time for restoration has come. 1. Doors of favor will be open to you. When doors close against a person's life, it makes the person miss out from the blessings and the things God is doing in his life because blessings come when doors are open. So when this door of blessings are closed, not open to you, you have to struggle for many things. You struggle to have and to find. That is the bad state of life for any child of God. It is the wish of the Lord that you have everything you asked and wanted. So struggling to have is a bridge to the things that God is doing in your life because God does not want you to suffer for anything. There is abundance in the kingdom of the Lord. It is never exhausted, nor has anyone heard that there is a shortage of the supply of God's blessings. John 1 verse 16 And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. But the reason you have not flowed and lived in the reality is because doors are closed against you. And while these doors are closed, it takes away your time effort and make them all fruitless. It wastes your resources and makes you have to engage in things that will take away all that you had. Failed business deals, an investment that will yield nothing to you. But one sign that you have broken through the ream and your time for total restoration has come is that those things that have not been working for you will begin to work for you, because the closed doors have been opened to you. You struggle to get the job. You lost your job all because the doors are closed against you. But when God restores those things to you, the doors that have been locked and closed to you will be opened to you. The access that has denied you from getting into your blessing will begin to open to you. 
This is how you will know that your time for total restoration has come. You will know that everything that has been delayed and denied will start coming to you because it is your time. Doors of good and resourceful friendship will begin to open to you. One thing you will know is that God uses people to do whatever He wants to do for you. And when people that will help you begin to come into your life, then it is a sign that your time has come and all that has eluded you will begin to come to you. 2. You will start to enjoy productivity and fruitfulness. Fertility of life is one result of waste. When the devourer and the canker worms are operational in your life, there is nothing you will do that will amount to something good. Lack of productivity spirit. And when you engage in one, it will not give you desired result. It is because you are under an influence that does not want to have what God has prepared for you. They fight you and give you nothing for all that has been taken from you. Your business and finance become a means of waste. It does not mean you have not been trying to do something for your good, but because some forces are fighting your efforts. Over the years, you have not been able to achieve anything good for yourself. You have tried all that you can do, but nothing is showing forth for it. But now, you begin to see changes. You begin to see that your effort is gaining some fruitfulness. You are making progress in the things you do. This is a sign that something is happening in your life. When you see that speed in your life, it is the restoration of time that God is giving you because the people you have started earlier with are now ahead of you and you have been left behind. Because it is your time, God is bringing speed into your life, lifting you above all limitations that you have lived in for many years. And this is the sign that God is restoring things in your life. Those years you are staying in a point without progress, moving or promotion. You have struggled with everything that you do in your life, trying to move up, trying to see that things change for you. But everything moves slowly, without any progressive step. But now you have entered your time and the season of your restoration. God is giving you the perfect restoration that will bring all that you have lost in time past, back in the multiplied fold. This is how to know that restoration is coming to your life. When those negative things in your life begin to work positively for you, you no more struggle to get a positive response from people. All you do is relax and positive responses begin to come to your side. It is because you have gotten to your time of restoration. Those resources that you have lost over time has been given back to you because it is your time for restoration. God is bringing them back to you and God is turning those things to you because it is your time for restoration by gaining back all that you have lost. 3. You begin to have spiritual confirmation. In times like this, you will begin to get spiritual confirmation about your season and time that you are in and what God is doing for you. God will begin to show and reveal to you in your visions and dreams things you are gaining back. You will have the signal and burden burning in your spirit that something is happening in your life. You begin to sense changes. You feel in your spirit that your life is going through some moment of transformation. That is a sign that God is giving you. You are gaining back that spiritual sensitivity that you have lost. Those gifts and virtue that you have carelessly lost because of your life you chose to live. But you have received the mercy from the Lord and God is giving you back those gifts and the sense that you have lost. You will feel and see yourself doing those things 
you could not do for a long time. This is a clear sign that your restoration is working perfectly from the Lord. For the word of the people that you come in contact with will assure you. What you hear from people matters in times like this because God has a way of giving out information and communicating with those he wants to communicate some information to. Most times, God uses people to tell you who you are and what is happening in your life. They will speak to you and tell you this is what God is doing. These are the people that you don't joke with. These are the people you must hold their words with the utmost respect. When your time comes like this, God uses people to tell you it is your time to arise and shine for your life has come and the glory of God is upon you. God will speak to you through people that he is restoring those things that you have lost. They will say they see you gaining things in multiple folds. This is how God speaks to you. Don't joke with their words in times like these, because what they speak is what God is saying, and what God is saying is what they are speaking to you. This is one sign that you must handle with a sense of sensitivity. They may not speak with seriousness, but you must know it when people say reality. I see you recovering. I see you bouncing back. I see you getting those things that you have lost. They will begin to speak realities of the spirit to you in the physical. It is not just them speaking. It is God that is speaking through them to you. So you have to know that when you begin to see these things happening around you visually, when the testimony from everybody is the same thing, then you have to know that it is your time and God is restoring those things that he has promised to give back to you. On this note, you have to engage God so that everything will become reality and realistic in your life. You don't have to be silent just because God has spoken. You don't have to give up and say God will do it all. When you see all those things happening in your life, it is a clear sign that it is your time and God is restoring all those things and you are getting your perfect restoration and your life is becoming a celebration and a blessing.